Hi guys, it's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I'd do kind of a different video. It's kind of like a life hack style video, um, but it's not for a normal day life, it's for a dance show. So basically, if you don't already know, I do dancing. Um, I do quite a few different styles. And recently I did a dance show and they've not done a dance show in ages. The last time I did one was when I was little and I've forgotten quite a few things that were major important things that I should have known recently. So I thought I'd make this video on some of the things that I learned and maybe it'll help you in the future for dance shows, dance performances or competitions. So I'm gonna do 10 dance show life hacks for you guys. If you need to wear a high pony or a bun on the top of your head, the most easiest way to achieve that is to flick your head forwards, brush it all down, pop it, grab it up and brush up as you're doing it down the sides. It gets it the highest possible that you need it and you can just like alter the, the height of it then if you need it a bit further down or whatnot. That is one of the things that I struggled with and then someone pointed it out to me when I was doing my hair and yeah it's just one of the easiest things now and I know how to get a high pony on my head. To make sure all your hair is scraped back, once you've got it in your bun or pony, um, grab a comb and hairspray and hairspray everywhere around and then comb the top of your head backwards. It just gets rid of all the whiskey bits and makes it all stay backwards and it's a really good um, thing that I learnt at the show the other week and I'm definitely going to be using that in the future for future shows, performances and if we do any competitions. Now I actually didn't do this one but I got told about it after the show. Basically I have little bits of baby hair as you can see here, little whiskey bits. Um, one of the things I got told for next time is to bring an old toothbrush and spray the toothbrush with hairspray. I think it just funded. I'm not. I'm not good at thunder. So spray the toothbrush with hairspray, and then use it to comb all the little tiny bits of your hair back. Um, it just helps it loads, and it makes sure it stays back, and it's not one of them annoying things that you have to try and Kirby grip and stuff like that. Speaking of Kirby grips, make sure you use a Kirby grip the right way. So where the little bumpy things that way? Let me go grab one. Instead of using it how everybody is using it which is that way turn it upside down so it's like this and these little bumpy bits at the bottom will keep it secure into your hair and um, it's the best way to use them it doesn't move at all and it keeps everything back so use them that way rather than the way that everybody thinks that they're meant to be used if you are unsure and have to do any bit of your makeup don't worry about it bring every single bit of makeup that you've got and someone in the dance community of yours <laughs> will know how to do it straight away. Take me for example, I'm rubbish at um, eyeshadow which is why I don't wear it at all and we needed eyeshadow on that night and I had eyeshadow with me and everything, I just didn't know how to do it and one of the women in my group knew has to do it really good so she offered to do it for me and just make sure you just bring it because someone there in your group will know how to do your makeup for you so don't worry about it if you're unsure this is a very strange life hack for a dance show but make sure you bring a toothbrush and toothpaste with you you don't know when you're gonna get lipstick on your tooth you don't know whether you think you're gonna eat something whilst you're waiting that's going to make your breath smell just make sure you take toothbrush and toothpaste with you it's one of the must haves in a show stroke competition now this isn't technically to do with the dancing basically if it's a long show everybody's going to bring snacks so bring some really nice snacks it doesn't have to be healthy bring them and if it's anything like my dancing show everybody will bring snacks we'll mix them all together we'll share them out and we'll just have like a picnic of snacks and you'll never be hungry whilst on set. If you need to costume change and 
say like you're on stage and then you've got two dances and then you're back on again and you have to do a costume change what we did was we put our costumes in the corridor um so we had like the stage and then the stage doors to go into the back and we had one corridor before the dressing rooms we put the dresses in the corridor so as soon as we were done on stage we legged it off stage we went downstairs there was there, pe there was people there to help us we literally just ripped our clothes off and put the new clothes on we stripped off in front of everybody it doesn't matter if you strip off in front of anybody because most likely everybody's going to be in the same situation and um, you're going to have to do a fast clothes change so honestly don't worry about stripping off in front of people because everybody's most likely in the same position i learned this the hard way basically i don't have any dance tights I had to order a pair on eBay before I went to the dance show and I did the first night fine with the pair, came to the second night, I ripped them, completely ripped them right from knee to, to the foot and there was no way of saving them and I didn't have a spare pair of tights. So basically, I've learned from my own lesson, make sure you have more than one pair of tights because you never know when it's going to rip um, and if it does what you're going to do, so yeah, make sure you have another pe spare pair of tights luckily my friends did so they ended up give, lending me a pair to wear for the night but I've learnt from a lesson and next time I will have more than one pair of tights my last life hack for a dance show, show competition, performance, whatever um, basically is to do with tights again so make sure you bring clear nail varnish that is basically for if you ladder your tights a tiny bit you paint over the ladder with the clear nail varnish that is going to stop it from it spreading even further because once you've got a ladder if you move then you just the rest of it's just going to go but if you do a little have a little little tiny ladder and you paint it with clear nail varnish it's not going to do any more rip into it so that is like one of the most important things for a pair of tights as well so that is it guys i hope you enjoyed my 10 life hacks for a dance competition, show or performance. Hope this helps you in the future and I hope you enjoyed. Please give me a like, comment and subscribe. See you later. Bye.